Hey guys, Cindy Otter here with my artsy endeavors. Sorry about that. Somebody just went crazy down through here. Um, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Um, I wanted to show you. It's funny. I was sitting here working on this and my husband's like, have you recorded this? No. He's like, you really need to. <laughs> I said, okay, fine. All right. You know how we all have those stencils that just don't fit in a binder the way we want them to and just have a hard time keeping them all together the way we want them to and where we want them to. Well, I sat here the other night chatting with some friends of mine and I got out my page protectors and I said, you know what, I want my stencils so that I can just grab them. I don't have a great big huge, huge page to worry about. I can just grab them. So what I did is I put my uh, stencils in the page protector and I cut them off. Simple as that, right? Um, I made some a little bit larger. I made um, basically the size of the stencils, what I tried to do. Um, some of the stencils, for example, this one, uh, which is Adina Wakely, I believe, it wouldn't fit in the page protector this way. So what I did, and if you notice on this one also, is I just cut it down enough to fit in the protector. And the reason I did that, I did it with this one as well. You can see where I cut the ends off. Um, is because if you look at my stencils, nine times out of ten, I don't use the whole stencil to begin with. I use a piece of it, or I use a part of it. Um, very rarely do I use the entire stencil. It's usually bits and spots and pieces of it. So I thought, you know, by cutting them down, it's no big deal. I'm not losing anything. This one I was going to cut in half, but I ended up with just enough so that I could cut the ends off and still get it in and out of my pocket protector, right? So here's what I wanted to show you. This is what, ugh, see, it's very, this one is very tight, but I really, all right, you know what? We're going to do it. I'm going to cut some more off. Let's see. I'm going to just cut the very edge of this and see if I can get a little bit more room without ruining that number. Come on, get back in here, you. Oh, my fingers are not working today. It's been raining here today, and when that happens, my body like kind of shuts down. It says, <laughs> yeah, right. So it just makes it harder to work on parts of my body, like my fingers. But anyways, there we go. So what I wanted to show you today, this was the first thing I did. Now I had all of these ends, here's all the ends of all the sheet protectors that I cut off. And I thought, you know, I really don't want to just throw these away, so what can I do with them? Here's another stencil, right? So here's another stencil. These are stencil girls, and these come in the, um, the monthly kit club, the monthly stencil club. And you get a 4x4, a 6x6, and then a large one. Well, I'm thinking, hmm, guess what? These would make wonderful pockets for these, right? So what I've been doing is I've got my trusty little Janome, J-A-N-O-M-E, um, sewing machine. So what I'm doing is I'm sewing the bottoms of them. And uh, I'm going to say my disclaimer. I am not a professional seamstress by any means. Um, let me just sew this real quick. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing, but you know, I can't, I'm not going to change my camera just for this quick video. All right. So I just sewed the bottom, right? So now I have a large pocket. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold it over. Here's the bottom that I sewed together. Okay. One side's white, one side's black. I don't care. I'm just going to fold it over and I'm basically going to put this end of the page over to the seam and I'm going to sew it right here. So let me do that. Oops. And see, I'm not a professional sewer. Let's do that again. <laughs> First of all, I forgot to hold my string. Second of all, it didn't go the way I wanted it. So let's do this again. See, good thing I put that disclaimer out. 
I am not a professional. No way, shape, or form. Is it perfect? Nope. Don't really care. I just want it closed. I don't really care what it looks like. This is kind of a messed up, but hey, that's just, you know, it is what it is. So now, what I have is I actually have three pockets. Um, one of them, if I wanted to sew this, as a matter of fact, I probably should do that in the future. I should sew it like this first. Um, and sew it shut like that because then I'd have an extra third pocket, but I don't. I haven't been. So what I do is just kind of bend it. It'll, you know, once I lay enough of them flat, it'll be fine. And then what I have, and let's hope this fits. It does. I have a pocket with a hole right here, and I'm going to punch another hole down here. And I have pockets for my stencil girl four by fours and you know what I have enough of these page protector leftovers I have a whole pile of them so I can make lots of pockets right so that's what I'm doing so what I'm gonna do now is I will I have this hole here and I'm just gonna put it on a little th um, ring binder and or until eventually I find a little book that I want to put these in a binder I want to put them in a two hole binder and I'm going to punch another hole here and I'm just going to have little binders of my stencils all right so just a quick tip trick I'm not sure what you want to call it it's just me trying to figure out how I can use these up and actually um, have a purpose for them and yet still be able to organize my stencils and you know what I'm going to try this one we're going to try, I'm gonna, I'll do it while I'm on camera, why not, what the heck. Um, I'm going to try sewing up this bottom. Let's sew up this bottom. And we could have three pockets. The only problem then... No, no, no. See, I'm not a perfect sewer, seamstress. No, no, no. I just do what I have to to get by. See, it's cockeyed. I don't care. Um, you know, if I was trying to do something that really was meant something, then it'd be different. So actually, what I have here is I have... I'm still going to have to do that side up. Let's do this side up. another pocket now I could actually put one in the middle let's see if I could see them if I do that so here's one in the middle I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see them if they're like this one on the outside and the other one on the other outside That would be a pain in the butt to see the one in the middle. But hey, if you get, you know, extras or maybe put a little piece of washi or something on that so you can pull out the one in the middle. I don't know. But yeah, that makes another pocket. So, hmm, interesting. I think for now I'm just going to do two. But, you know, you could use these for all kinds of things. It doesn't have to be for stencils. But I'm liking that idea. So that was just a little quick um, tip trick. I'm not sure what you want to call it. Um, my stencils have been just getting out of control, and I really needed a way to kind of get them all together and be able to kind of flip through and say, oh, I want to use that one or oh, I want to use this one. 
And this is my idea for right now. Like I said, eventually I'm going to see if I can find um, a binder maybe to put these in. I don't know. I kind of like them like this because I can just kind of flip and say, oh yeah, there it is. I want this one. So um, just a thought, a tip, a trick. I hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you have any questions. Uh, definitely let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Have fun. That's what life's all about. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.